What's up, Sharks? This is Mr. O with a uh, footnotes on reproduction of flowers. We are moving away from layers, plates, soil, and soil conservation, and we're moving into flowers and then eventually move into ecosystems. Um, obviously, we learn about the crust, and then we learn about the soil because it lays on the crust, and then we learn about flowers because they are living in the soil that we learned about in the previous unit. So they all do connect and they all go together in some kind of way, shape, or form of harmony, and we'll work more from there. In your composition notebook, please put page nine, and that'd be plant parts and functions flip notes. Um, this whole unit in general is the reproduction of flowers. The numbers you need to know are 6L11, it's 6L12, L123, and L124, and then we get into it a little bit different after that. So first we're going to do is talk about the male reproductive parts of a flower. In class today, we label the pitcher, and this unit is pretty straightforward. You need to know how to label a pitcher, you need to know what each thing does, and you need to know its general function. So the male generally is called the stamen. I always remember it's because it stays a man or a stamen. The stamen has two parts to it. Um, there's an anther and there's a filament. Um, they both do different jobs, but together they have one general function. Now this general function would be like humans general function is to um, solve problems and make the world a better place. Well, we at least hope that is, but the stamen's general function is in this world is to produce and distribute pollen. So in the springtime, when your allergies start to kick up, and that pollen's flying, it is because the stamen is doing its job. It's releasing pollen in the air to get to the females to reproduce. So yes, you are sneezing flower sperm in the air. Now let's go on to the female reproductive parts. So with the female, we have several parts. The pistil is the overall part. When you talk about all the parts together, the female is called the pistil. It is made up of four things, the stigma, the style, the ovary, and the ovule. Uh, some of these seem familiar because they are just like females. So we talked in class what each of these do, but they all do have a general purpose. Their general purpose, just like the males, was to give off and just make and give off the pollen. The woman's job is to fertilize the ovules to either become a fruit, a vegetable, or a flower. Plants like to flower, even like vegetables, like Cucumbers, they flower before they become a cucumber. That's the female turning from pollen, the seeds develop into this fruit, vegetable, or flower in order to reproduce later. So you need to know the male parts, what they do, the female parts, what they do, their general purposes or functions, and then we also have a few processes. Now this unit it will be all about understanding vocab words. So the first vocab word is nothing that's unfamiliar with you. You've heard of pollination before. Those awesome bees that like to flower around. And pollination is the process of pollen being distributed or spread to the female parts of the flower. So when we talk about pollinators like bumblebees or honeybees or butterflies or bats or wind or water, they are pollinating, which means they are doing the process of pollination. There is another process that we had learned about. And if you see the word Asian, that means it's a process. The next one is fertilization. And that's the process of an ovary growing into a fruit or vegetable. So we have pollination. We have fertilization. The male's general purpose is pollination. The female's general purpose is fertilization. But you need the male and the female for both of those processes. And last but not least, there's just a tad bit fact that you need to write down that is the length of night or dark period controls flowering, meaning how much something flowers it depends on how much night or dark period there is for the plant to go through and uh, work more. So pretty quick notes. Make sure you get those down. I will check those in class tomorrow. If you have any questions, please write them down. We're going to have a little discussion when we get back to class tomorrow. So be ready to talk about these notes and be prepared if you have any questions to let me know. See you tomorrow. Thanks.